What's going on world? I'm George Keel. We have a brand new episode of Royal Key there on your screen. I'm here with Kenny Farr, the man behind Oregon football. We want to spend the day in the life of a recruit. We want you to fit us, uh, show us everything about it and why we should sign with Oregon <laughs> okay. today. <laughs> All right, we'll do my best, man. We'll see what we can do. Cool, right. let's check it out. You know, process designing this building. We got to fly around on Mr. Knight's jet and look at all the places around the country to generate some ideas and kind of come up with what we thought would be the, the best equipment room in the nation. Now, Kenny, everyone loves sneakers, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone loves sneakers, and, and I'm seeing a wall of what would be a lot of people's holy grails. <laughs> I like to tell people, you know, our relationship with Nike is second to none. You know, a lot of people refer to this place as Nike University. We're blessed to, you know, have them gift us with, with some shoes and take care of our athletes with some heat. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the spot. Yep. You've been here for, what, eight years now? Yeah, yeah. Eight years. Yeah. I want you to rank them. Oh, rank okay. them all. I'm a fours guy, so I would probably go, this is 1A and this is 1B for me. I like threes a lot too. You know, it's just really clean and really good with the, I like the duck feet on the back, you know, and just all black and all white. So that'd probably be two, the fives. You gotta love the fives. This one's a little, gotten a little faded over the years just being out, but uh -huh. it's nice and bright green. And then, uh, you know, the black fives are really good. I love these 14s just cause they got the duck like in Boston <laughs> and, the, and the suede. And then these 13s, man, it's tough to rank them all, but you know, <laughs> I, I guess I kind of, because I like them all, I guess I just look at it the, the style of shoes that I like. Now, yeah. Kenny, how have you seen recruiting actually strengthen from this initiative? Guys come in so educated about this stuff. Social media has been a big you know, player in that, and you know, it really is exclusive. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's one of those things that, you know, when guys come in here, they're like, oh, I've, see, I've seen pictures of these, or I know a guy that had a pair of these. You know, that obviously is just another feather in our cap that, you know, you yeah. come to a place like Oregon and you're taking advantage of being, you know, number one school for Nike. Mostly this part is just to kind of display the amount of stuff we're gonna do. You know, you'd probably be in something like uh, a vapor, Okay. So something like this, or you know, this is another really popular model of Alpha Menace Elite. Going? So, just depending on how much ankle support you would like. The Untouchable One's always been a popular shoe. This is from a few years ago. I think it's the glitter on these things. They like that flash, so we <laughs> kind of display these. And bring you to the fitting room, and the first thing we do is sit down and I get all your measurements. I'll have you take a seat right here. Okay. We'll get your feet measured up. So you're a 12, true 12, and a and a C width. You know, you'd be amazed that there's guys that have, you know, up to a size and a half difference. Between really? The left. So like in the, your, your right foot, you're uh, 11 and a half. Okay. So and that yeah. doesn't really come into play unless a guy starts having some issues and then we have right, to use right. two pairs of cleats on somebody just to get one <laughs> pair. So for footwear, basically I'd ask you, you know, what styles are you interested in? You know, and it kind of works its way down from how much you weigh and what position you're gonna play all the way down into, you know, the bigger guy's stuff. So you can try these on. Oh, I like the bottom chrome bottom on. Oh yeah. So, yeah. My job's really about relationship building and making sure the guys trust me and that something doesn't feel right where, you know, we're at a place where I can do something to fix it. I'm fortunate in my job that I get to, you know, see these guys when they come in as 18 and just kind of see them develop that way. So that's one of my favorite parts about what I get to do. The next thing we'd probably do is figure out for you is, you know, we go through base layer stuff. So if you're interested in like a, there's a lot of different cuts of base layer. So sleeveless or half sleeve, short sleeve. Right, right. I like the, I like the okay. short. I okay. do the short, like the short yeah, sleeve. Yeah. You're gonna kind of want to look at the padded girdle for you. There's a few different options. So you got what we call a padded jock. Most skill guys will wear this and they'll put in like independent thigh pads and knee pads. Mm -hmm. um, you get what we call a, a boom short and that's got built in thigh pads in it. But you just put your knee pads in your pants. And then okay. you got a plated short, which basically is the same thing. You just got a hard plate on the front. So any guy can wear any of these. We'll let them try them all on, see what they like. So just to clarify, Kenny, every single player on the team goes through this. Yeah, process. exact same thing. Yep. Wow. And like I said, it's more about making them understand that I care about them. I want them to know everything that we offer so that, you know, when they have an issue, they can come down here and we can find a solution. Some practice pants for you. There's a couple different options. So you got a drawstring cord, okay. and that's the, probably the lightest, and most of our de defensive backs wear something like that. Okay. The last thing to, to know is like compression shorts and like tights. Mm -hmm. you know, what size? Large. Large. Right, yeah. So we yeah, try yeah. that. And we do some compression shorts and some tights for you. Mm -hmm. Try it all on together. Now we probably do shoulder pads and jersey. Okay. So for you, get your measurements and make sure we're getting you in the right stuff. Now, Kenny, I'm noticing these logos at the top. Yeah. yeah. Tell me about this. So when they were designing the fitting room, which is, you know, all big thanks to, you know, a couple people. So 
I know Gallagher Design had a big part in designing this stuff, and, and obviously our friends at Nike. You know, each one of these is our mascot, the duck, just kind of roughing up, you know, all the other teams in our conference and <laughs> their mascot. So we could try these on. Okay. So basically, when you when you lace up shoulder pads, the biggest thing is to remember is you want them to be tight. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell you, there's a process to getting these things on and off. But you want it to be super tight so that guys can't grab you. What is this chair? What is this throne? Uh, so this throne, <laughs> really, it's in honor of Phil and Penny Knight, who obviously the general generosity to this program and this university is, you know, unbelievable as far as things they've donated to athletic facilities and campus buildings. So this is our helmet room. Obviously in here, this is where we're putting together and building all the helmets. Sometimes we're working on things that are kind of top secret or we got to work kind of ahead of everybody to make sure it's ready to go. So we don't want people to see. So we have the ability if we need to, because there's so much glass around here that we can, can fog the glass out and make sure that people can't see in here. Helmets is another beast of its own. We offer five different styles, customized to each player. Might be a little tight at first. Oh, okay. <laughs> Too tight? No, that actually fits fine. Right. So what style of helmet is that's this? That's a Riddell Speed Flex. So, okay. Yeah, that's a pretty popular model with our guys on our team. This is kind of like an archives of cool helmets we've done over the years. They're all in closed minus glass, so we can't really get to them, but just kind of showcase some of, the, some of the cool stuff we've done. What has been your favorite helmet uh, over the years? You know, I started in school here in way back, so my personal favorite is our throwback helmet, because that's how it looked when I first started here. So <laughs> most of the stuff is started with recommendations from players, things that they wanted to see or colors they wanted to introduce or hey let's do some kind of a bca game a breast cancer awareness game all right and then leave it to the people up up in beaverton and they'll come out with a full you know kind of neon pink helmet mm -hmm. and with the glitter in it you know it's just <laughs> taking it to that next level getting to see it from the ground floor all the way up it's really an amazing deal to watch <laughs> there you go all right kenny uh, Look good, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to ready, like ready, ready to just man. just stand on the sideline <laughs> and look Shoot. the part. Welcome to Otsum. Welcome huh? to Otsum Stadium, loudest stadium in the nation. We've had some teams come through here that they claim it's the loudest place they've ever been. Right. So we have obviously a very passionate fan base. And it's an unbelievable environment. You look good, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Good, thank man. you. You know, obviously this part is about Marcus's uh, 2015 season where he won pretty much every trophy you can win. This part's open to the public, so it's got uh, all these trophies. And here's our sports performance. This is like our sports science center. Everything is pressure plates and measuring force and everything that, that you need to make yourself the best you can be. Back to Marcus, you were here during his mm -hmm. entire time here. Describe that that energy, that feeling and motion uh, behind the program when he was here. I think, you know, for th that time period when he was here, it's just uh, the utmost confidence that, you know, those guys have done everything they can to prepare themselves to be victorious on game days. You know, and he was an unbelievable guy. Top flight character, obviously athletic ability, but he's a great human being. So these are sleep pods, obviously, around the whole science thing and, and guys making sure that they're getting adequate sleep and rest um, is all part of the recovery process. They, they put these sleep pods in there and some guys can come in here and just get quick, you know, power nap in or, or whatever they need to do just to get recovered from, you know, practice or fall camp or whatever it might be. Just a little few special things we got besides the equipment room. Right here is their laundry box. So every morning the guys will come in here, they'll punch in their little code, then after that, they come, grab their items, what they need for the day, and they're good to go. We handle everything in the back end. That way guys show up, grab their stuff. Like I said, just good to go from there. Then they'll have like their shakes, their breakfast stuff over here, different things like that. Just some little snacks in the morning to get them going. Oatmeal, bagels, as a nutritionist does a great job of keeping all that stuff laid out for the guys. You're used to seeing the wooden lockers that are open. You can't close them. You know, it's sleek good design. It almost looks fast too, kind of like how we like to play. We'll have this gathering area before games. The guys will meet up with coach, get their little pregame talk in, and they'll be good to go. We want all the guys to get their items back in their locker. Let's close it up. That way, when we do have those recruits coming in or those VIP people, everything looks, like I said, clean, crisp. They'll go to these built-in iPads, and they'll be able to open their locker up from any location. So. As y'all know, Phil Knight, he's our guy here in Uncle Phil. He's the one that makes all this possible. 
him and Nike. So he actually has his own locker here in the locker room. It's kind of ducked off in the corner. So we'll go take a look at it. And that way y'all can see what it's like in one of these guys' locker. Gotta have to just do it up there. Keep everything in perspective around here. We just got a few different things from over the past years. Top drops down. That way the guys can just grab what they need. There's no waste of movement. You don't gotta climb up on any benches. You know, everything's just right in front of you, prepared, ready to be grabbed. Then we have this charger right here. You can just set your phone on it. You don't need any cables. You just set your phone in there, wireless charging. But we do have the USB ports and the outlet in there as well. They also have this personal lock box. So within their locker, if they wanna just throw their phone in there or their wallet before they go work out and don't wanna close it, they just throw their valuables in here, close it, and they got their own personal code, good to go. One of the best things, and the guys love it, because we're really starting to take advantage of it uh, these past couple of years is the barbershop. This is one of the most popular places. Pre-game, on the weekends, guys will come in here, we'll have our barber come, set his operation up. We'll have a whole line out here. He stays here about 10 hours a day, just cutting up all the players, all the staff, whatever those guys need, and uh, he does a good job in taking care of us. I haven't had to travel outside of work for a haircut in the past four years. This is the team theater. The guys will come in here, get those pregame talks done, full team meetings done. A lot of guys will watch UFC fights in here, boxing matches, you know, just something to have everybody together. It's a great area to come. Chairs are comfortable, Ferrari leather. So like I said, second to none. Right here, we're on the sixth floor, headed up to the players lounge. Each one of these ducks right here represents something a little different. You can tell by the color. They range from all American to being in the NFL to being drafted in the first round. So everyone has a special place here, but each one's just a little bit different in the capacity. Right now, we're just entering the players lounge. As you come in, you got this nice vending machine. It doesn't even take coins. Whatever you want, press a button. Guys got snacks ready, drinks ready. Always good to go. And this is a player's lounge right here. We got Xbox, PlayStation, all the newest games set up, ready to go. That's six total. So we got enough in here to get the guys playing and whatnot. These carpets right here, handmade. Obviously the duck right in the middle and then all the other Pac-12 mascots on the outside just kind of getting roughed up. So this right here is the ring room. As you can hear from the sound in here, they take the sound straight from the stadium and bring it in here. So the longer you stay in here, the louder it'll get until it sounds like it actually does on game day. Right here, we just kind of got some of the rings that we've acquired over the past few years. Most of the time you just see them in a showcase or something like that, but we got our own room dedicated to it. And you know, we want people to envision what they're gonna get when they come here.